Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Chaos Williams versus Carlston Harris. I can't believe this is a co-main event fight. Unbelievable. Chaos Williams, 14-3, and 3-2 three, three and two in his last five fights, 3-1 and one in his last four. Minus 125 favorite. I don't think he should be the favorite, to be honest. 30 years old, 6 foot tall with a 77-inch reach. Carlston Harris, 19-5, and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. His last loss was Shavkat Rachmanov, spitting hook kick. Two ground strikes two years ago, won two fights in a row, was getting destroyed by Jeremiah Wells. And then Jeremiah Wells decided, hey, let's grapple. Let's not get out of this wrestling exchange. And he gets Anaconda Choke to put to sleep in a fight that he was dominating. 36 years old, 6 foot tall with a 76 inch reach. I do think KS Williams is a decent striker. Big, big power. Very fast. Not very well rounded with his striking, nor is it very technical. Also, last night on the Derek Lewis Nascimento fight, on that main event, the fucking commentator said Rodrigo Nascimento was a technician. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over that still. Plus 105, slight underdog there. I don't think Williams should be the favorite. I think Harris should be. Fought the better competition. Also, uh, KS Williams' losses are not great. Michelle Pereira, if you go back, I actually thought KS Williams won that matchup, which is crazy to say that now. But you go also back and watch him fight Randy Brown. He had one good round, and it was that third round, the first two rounds. He was kind of getting picked apart, getting beat up a little bit. Uh, did beat Matthew Summonsberger, beat Miguel Bieza, which Miguel Bieza made a lot of mistakes. He's coming back to Hot Chocolate, I believe his name is. And then beat Rolando Bendoya. Also, did not think he won that matchup. He's been gone for about a year now, so curious to see how he comes back and how he looks, if he fights a little bit different. Has decent take on defense, honestly, so for somebody that fights the way that he does. Uh, strikes landed per minute, 5.77 to 2.93. Accuracy is 39 to 49. Absorbed 5.33, 2.44. Uh, defense, 42% to 53. This is where it's interesting. 2.05 for takedowns, averages, accuracy is 29, 55 defense, 80% defense for Chaos Williams, 0.8 for submission attempts. Again, I can see Chaos Williams catching Carlson Harris for sure. He's fast, especially early. Big bet would be a Chaos Williams first round, <coughs> first round knockout or to a decision. Uh, you could also put a side bet for Carlson Harris to get a submission or also a decision. So, I think Carlson Harris wins this matchup. I just think he's a little bit more well-rounded of a fighter. You see he doesn't throw as much, but he lands on a better rate. Um, and he doesn't absorb a whole lot of punches. I do think Williams does have that one-shot power that he could catch Harris. But Williams is not a sniper. He is not, especially if Harris doesn't walk in on a straight line. He has decent... Um, footwork as well the reason why jeremiah wells was able to catch him as much as he was was because for one he's a big explosive powerful wrestler and that goes to the same thing with his strikes he's a big powerful blitzing striker so that's why wells was able to have so much success in that matchup i don't think williams is going to be able to do that i like carlson harris and i think he wins this matchup and as always guys subscribe like comment and let me know who you're picking peace